Morning, my name is Amru. I'm a professional photographer. And here we are in uh, Putrajaya Maritime Center to shoot what? Water ski! Okay, this is two of my friends, uh, Dog and Adrian. Okay, Dog, what kind of lens are you using? Uh, I'll be using the 7300mm. And Adrian? Uh, I'll be using the 55 300mm. Uh, okay, and myself, I'll be using uh, an 80-200mm lens. It's crucial to use the telephoto lens for these kind of spots uh, because we can shoot from a distance and not get into the water. Okay, later on, we're going to meet uh, Philippa Young, the national athlete and also national coach of uh, water ski. Uh, so guys, are you, are you ready to go today? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Go get some shots. Okay, come. With me now is uh, Philippa Young, the national athlete and coach for wakeboarding and water ski. So Philippa, can you tell us uh, what we are going to shoot today? Okay, uh, basically we've got two of our national trainees here. One is Hadi and one is Hannes. Right. Uh, they're going to go and do some slaloming for you. Slalom, all Slalom right. Slalom is you go through the entry gates, okay. you go around six boys, all and right, then you go boys. out through the exit gates. Okay. And so they're going to be going fairly fast, about 40 kilometers an hour. So I think it'll be quite challenging for you guys to catch the sideways motion, the all speed right. and the spray. Wow, this is like uh, the X Games, man. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm very anxious to see what what the boys and uh, what the kids are going to do. Okay, before we start the shoot, we need to set our cameras uh, with the correct setting. And throughout the shoot, we're going to adjust here a bit, a bit. So we got the perfect exposure. Okay, so let's see your camera. Okay, we have to use a manual setting and put the aperture around 4.5 to 5.6, the minimum that you can the largest aperture that the lens can afford and uh, we use a shutter speed of a minimum of 320 mm -hmm. to freeze the moment. Uh, just use a auto at balance because the, the weather is kind of fair and we need to use a continuous uh, focusing okay. and don't forget to use the largest size, uh, largest megapixel that you can use. Right. Okay, In your case, it's uh, either large fine or a raw format. Okay, later on, if we have to crop, uh, we still have a, a workable area uh, if we want to print or publish. That's it, huh? don't stop. What are you doing here? Okay. This is okay, uh, this is a good shot. Let's focus it a bit. Well, you nail it, you get it sharp. Don't worry if it's uh, too centered because later on we can crop the area that we don't want. No. Okay, now let's see what Adrian got. Okay, the focusing is slightly off, but the problem is with the water, it's uh, too bright. Okay, what we need is to uh, hike up the shutter speed from 640 to 800. Wow, I think this is a very good shot. Got him uh, in mid air and it's uh, focused and sharp. Okay, cool. Next. Right, good, good, good. This is what we want. All right. Uh, now, the three of us we get uh, almost identical shots, which is good, uh, and they get the sharpness that we need and the separation with the background. Okay, let's see uh, Adrian's picture. Okay, he gives some room for the water splashes. And uh, let's see dog's picture. Oh, that's cool. And let's see my picture. Right, now we have the action with the water splashes and it's uh, ultra sharp. Shooting spots is uh, more of a hit and miss. Uh, you shoot 100, maybe you're gonna use like two or three pictures. We are not going to use the 100 pictures, okay? But if you shoot 100, the odds of getting the shot is uh, higher.
the end of the shoot and let me recap from the beginning. We have our telephoto lens, our long lens, and also we we set our initial setting and throughout the shoot we tweak it, uh, we hike up the shutter speed, we we adjust the ISO, uh, we adjust the aperture to get a sharper picture. Uh, there's no one perfect setting. We have to continuously change to suit the situation. Um, I've learned that when you do uh, water sports, uh, you've got to really uh, focus on your composition, um, high and low, and just uh, adjust yourself to try and get your wonderful shot, or <laughs> hundreds of wonderful shots. Uh, I learned that uh, no matter what camera you use, uh, you have to go and explore your menu settings, go and learn about uh, how, how is it uh, being used and how get familiar. How do you track your subjects? And yeah. focusing, pending, tracking and all those. No use to be stingy and shoot several shots because you, you are not going to get the, the perfect shot that way. You have to shoot a lot uh, with the right setting and you select the best one later. Okay guys, uh, thanks for your time today. Uh, and you at home, please try and shoot uh, water ski.